welcome to my video series. Today's the big day. We're gonna cut a big hole in the side of the trailer. <laughs> So I finished cutting out the tin. I used this little drill attachment right here. Works pretty good. But cut that hole roughed in. Now what I need to do is get these off. Or weld it on the sides right here. So I have to cut that off, get that weld out of there. And that way the, the flange can fit down in that hole and be flush with this. Safety first hits. able to use all of the the uprights and then I welded them together right there in the center and then use that so I didn't have to add any extra metal right there so now we can mount the door okay so to seal between the door and the trailer I'm gonna use this beetle tape this is eighth inch by one inch wide it's black beetle I bought on Amazon so after I got the whole entire door installed, I realized I probably should have been a little bit more clear on a couple of things. Um, if you guys are curious about any of the other things I might have skipped over, just uh, hit me in the comments or send me a message and I'll try and clear that up. Also if you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see all of my newest videos when they're posted. Okay, so we got the whole door installed now. I'll give you guys a little demo of how it works. Got the Southco compression latches that you've seen in the last video. They both have the locks on them so you can keep it nice and secure. Pop those open and then that'll give you access to the storage that'll be underneath the bed right there. So right down here I'm going to do like a little aluminum piece of trim to cover up the gap between the wood and the frame. But should be pretty good. I got weather strip around the outside there so it'll seal. Just snap them right back close. 